Hi, Ben. Howdy. So unconscious bias is a concept well documented in psychological studies, which is basically that people associate negative things with people of color and positive things with whites. So if that is true, how does it, given that that is true, how does white privilege not exist? Okay, so um, you're asking about unconscious bias. I apologize because it's kind of echoey. But, but the, uh, the question was, if there is unconscious bias, just to repeat it so I'm making sure I get it right. If given there is unconscious bias, moment, how does white privilege not exist? The question is, given that there is unconscious bias, how does white privilege not so, exist? Uh, so, okay, so number one, so when I speak about white privilege, yes, so when I speak about white privilege, I'm speaking specifically about behavior. Okay, there have been no studies, and really I've looked at these studies, the, the, the connection between what they call implicit bias, this is their, their favorite phrase now, implicit bias, unconscious bias, and biased behavior has yet to be proven at any level that is even remotely necessary to be used in, for example, a courtroom, which is why it's never been used in a courtroom. It is also true that there is no way, there, there really isn't, there's been no proven way to alleviate what they call unconscious bias, which means that we're ghost hunting. So what I would suggest is that if there is unconscious bias, and I'll acknowledge the possibility or the reality of unconscious bias, if there is, then I need you to put, I don't care about what's in people's heads so much as what they do. So if you point me to an, a racist behavior, I'm a, don't worry, I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll let you respond. Uh, if, 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 I, if you point me to a racist behavior, I'm happy to stand alongside you and protest it. What I can't do is protest about things in people's head that I don't know about because I'm not a mind reader. Okay, so that's a really interesting response. And to that, I have two questions. Firstly, what I've heard you say that this is something that, you know, the way people think doesn't affect their behavior. So that, that's the first thing you've said. So I'm really curious if you can kind of give me another example of a thought that somebody has which doesn't affect their behavior. Like, do people who, you know, support Trump not vote for him? Like, I'm very curious about that. Yes. And secondly, okay, okay, that was, okay. So mm -hmm. the second thing that I want to ask is that if it's something that's it's hard to fix, does it mean we shouldn't do anything about it? Because you said, oh, I don't know if we can change how people think. Does that mean we shouldn't try? I mean, first of all, not a great impression. But beyond that, uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, my voice isn't that low, um, but, yeah. but, beyond, but beyond that, um, as far as the, the first question, which is do people have thoughts that, they, that, that don't manifest in behavior, yes, all the time. For instance? For instance, every thought that you have about walking up here and strangling me right now. I mean, I, I assume, I mean, I assume like, we, we have thoughts all the time that don't manifest in behavior, and this is true every single day. We consider thoughts that, that cross our minds. And the problem with unconscious bias is the idea is you don't even know that you're having the thought, right? So how can you stop it if you don't even know that you're having it? But then we should be able to gauge the unconscious bias and its impact on behavior. That's why it's unconscious bias as opposed to conscious bias. The, the, the idea behind unconscious bias is that it's not even a ghost. It's a ghost of a ghost because you don't even know you're having the thought. So people, like... The, the, whole, the whole idea behind diversity training is just is, is the idea that you can retrain people to stop their chain of thought in order so that it doesn't manifest in behavior. I don't think that every thought manifests in behavior. If it did, then every time a man saw a good-looking woman walk down the street, a straight man saw a good-looking woman down the street, we'd have a real mess on our hands. So you know, the, the, the second question, the idea was, was a little too broad for me to respond to, which is, just because something is tough, don't we have to face up to it? Yes, we have to face up to tough things all the time. And one of the tough things I would suggest that we face up to is that you have a lot more control over your own behavior and the decisions you make than the supposedly widespread unconscious bias of people you've never met. 